Hey guys, this is Tommy. What's going on YouTube? This is Dr. Popcorn with Burger. And welcome to this review. Well, what is it? A rant or a review? It's kind of just like... It's a it's, combination. It's like an explanation more, sort of. Just because, like... This is basically an explanation of what gags are suitable for going in a VP. Because I've been getting a lot of comments recently from people saying, Hey, here are my gags. Here's my laugh. Like... Would you take me in a VP? And I can't answer them all, so I thought I might as well just make a video on the subject. Yeah, exactly. A lot of people, um, a lot of people, like on on rants and everything that I've made too, have like you know they've said, "Well, uh, would you take me? Are my gags good? Were the VP, etc., cetera, etc." Cetera. And um, you know, it, it's really a case by case basis. I mean, like, it's not like you can't say definitively. Like you know, one of this gag or one of the, it's like you know, it just you got to see the whole all of your gags and you know, it just yeah, it's not it's not cut and dry exactly. So we'll but we'll give a, a basic a general like overview of what uh, what we look for. Yeah. So usually, I mean, for me, whenever I look at a gag page, I can generally sort of just instantly say yes or no whether I take them or not. Yeah. Um, but. I think we I think we'll just like come up with some general guidelines for what okay. gags someone should have cuz usually laugh doesn't matter. Um Yeah, personally laugh is very, I Yeah. Very Personally unless minimal. you're like an Uber, I'd like to have over over maybe 50 laugh is optimal. Maybe over 40 is fine, but the one now I will take Ubers, like don't get me wrong, but Honestly, the one Uber I will not take is a two gag Uber. Yeah, two gag Uber is pretty useless. I mean, okay, throw and squirt. Okay, that's great and all, if you have that max. But I mean, one any any small error, like at all, and everyone and you're dead. Like any 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 miss, any fuck up at all, you're dead. So it's like you're pretty. You're basically a dead man walking if you're if you're too too track uber yeah, so yeah you're mean, not useful i suppose that's like a good thing and a bad thing like if you're if you're the uber like i guess that's more fun for you or more of a challenge for you because yeah you're kind of on the brink of dying at every possible opportunity but but then again like you're more of an inconvenience than anything just because it's almost I wouldn't compare it to like a 50 laugh noob with like shit gags, but I would say that it's, you it's are... a step above, a slight step above. Because you you did try, you tried, you got you got two max gags, but it's just you're basically uh, just barely more useful than them, just barely. <laughs> like yeah, you can't you can't sound, you can't lure, you can't you can't even tune, even if you would need to do that. And, yeah, and you don't have a nuke. Like I guess. You could say that like three trackers and four trackers are sort of the same way, but then again, like to me, like the best thing, if someone has throw, squirt, sound, and lure maxed, I will instantly take them. I don't oh, exactly. care what their yeah. laugh is. If yeah. they have those four maxed or. Don't care about tune up, trap, or drop that much. I mean. To be completely know. honest, if someone has like maxed fog and hypno, more often than not, I'll just just pull the trigger and be like yeah you're fine i mean unless yeah. i can find someone better like exactly i think something one thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go down the line for every laugh and say sort of like the average gags i think you should have for your laugh and this isn't ex exactly like a guaranteed i'm not exactly saying i would take you um for some of the a lower laugh but generally like this is what i'd like to see if i were to take someone in a vp um so let's start out with like 40 laugh if you have 40 laugh generally you should be in the upper 4000s for throw and squirt and definitely have your level five gags from toontown central and donald stock um i probably wouldn't take someone with those gags in a vp in fact i definitely wouldn't just because that's really not that great um but I say that's like bare minimum for being like remotely considered good at that laugh. Uh, moving on, 50 laugh. I think you should, I would like to see people ha have like birthday cake and storm cloud. Like that's optimal, but of course no one ever does. Um, 
and have like maybe in the 4000s for like Sound and Lure or the other two gag tracks that you got. Um, that's what I'd like to see, but that's what no one really ever does. Um, by the time you're in Dream Dreamland, honestly, just have like three gags maxed minimum. I mean, if I see some someone who has like all level five gags except they have max throw and squirt, like I will take them in. It's just like when you think about it, they're really not as useful as someone uh, who is maxed. And like that kind of goes back to the argument about two gag ubers because I mean, really the biggest problem with them is that they only have 15 laugh. But the like the bigger problem is just there's really no versatility within them. Like. You got your throw in, you got your squirt, you got two high damage things, but other than that, there's really not much to show. I mean, you can do a decent amount of damage, but when you get past that, I mean, you're pretty much someone who can just do, like, a lot of damage in two different areas and nothing else. So, to me, if you, like, generally I'll take someone if they have, like, only throw and squirt max, but it's usually good to see, like, some other gag tracks maxed. Um, in my opinion, like like I said earlier, if you have throw squirt sound lure max, I'll take you instantly. I don't care if you're tune up drop up or trap, whatever combination you have. I don't care if they're level one. Like that will make no difference to me. I might laugh at you for a little bit and just be like, oh, how ridiculous that this person has such low level gags. But I mean, that won't really change my impression. Like because as pretty much the essentials in my opinion are those first four gag tracks because you can prevent a lot of damage you can do damage to multiple people and you also have two pretty high damaging attacks coming with the cloud and the birthday cake so if you have that much you're fine by me yeah here's the thing with me um when it comes to the vp um you know I just look for someone that's putting in effort. Like, um, you know, if, if you come in with an average gag of level five, I'm not going to take you. I mean, if you come in with level four sound, you know, whole cream pie, that's it. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to take you because, I mean, it's just, I'm, I'm not going to carry you through something that you're just really not prepared for and you really couldn't win without an insane amount of luck um, as far as like if there are eight of you I'm not gonna do it um, but yeah like what I look for is um, I just look for like you know a, a max gag or two a uh, bunch of level sixes you know just clear effort if, if there's clear effort I'll take you um, but if it's if you're just trying to get carried I'm, I'm not gonna take you um, and honestly, what you just said sort of, like, made a lot of sense to me. Um, there's sort of a test that I like to think of when I see a tune, like, in the VP lobby. I think to myself, alright, if they, like, they're not exactly being carried if they would be able to defeat the VP if they had eight copies of their tune. Yeah. That's sort of like a test. Like, mm -hmm. if, you see a, if you see a tune, in fact, that would would be a good way to sort of judge it like you could say if you can defeat a vp with eight copies of your tune um like say you just had eight complete carbon copies of your tune like say if i were doing a vp there would be eight 113 laugh brands with max level gags yeah of course um, you'd win like i mean <laughs> just apply that to your tune and think about it if you think you could defeat the vp with that many copies of your tune, then you could say yes, I would take you. Yes. But then um, again, like, it's kind of a good thing and a bad thing, just because, like, that's gotta be, that's gotta take into account no SOS cards, like, only gags and the laugh you have. Like, you can't use any of your rewards, you can't call in any SOSs, you just gotta use gags and <laughs> Yeah, the because of laugh any of those have. rewards that you got, you didn't really earn if you couldn't have won with a little eight copies of your tune to begin with like you know what i mean like if if you if you're say your average gag is like a level four or a level five and it, it would be highly unlikely for you to win i mean you you would have a very small chance of winning 
a VP without being carried by higher tunes. So if you got carried through a few VPs and you got some besties or something, then yeah, I mean, you might be able to win, but you again, you still got carried through like, I guess like tra transitively, like through, okay, you got carried in another VP, so it enabled you to be carried through this VP, or I guess to carry, not really carry your own weight, so much, but um, you know, it, it gave you the tools to do it, but only temporarily. And um, it's, it's like you think about it. Anyone can spam Bessies till the end of the world. Exactly, the, and just it takes no skill. Anything it takes absolutely no skill to spam Bessie. <laughs> like you just press a button rather than actually like using think, logic and yeah. thinking about like how you're going to win the fight. Yeah, but to to um to go on off on like what you were saying earlier about as far as like the the laugh i don't really care about like what laugh you are i don't care if your gags are good for your laugh like that's great and everything but when it comes to the vp that doesn't really matter to me like i don't care if you're 40 laugh and you have like all level five gags like that would be really good for um you know like like that laugh for your laugh that would be very good but when it comes to a vp that's not useful the VP is not made for 40, 50 laughers. I mean, so, I mean, I, I, you can't really apply the my gags are good for my laugh logic. Um, yeah, like, also, with, um, as far as, like, what uh, Tommy was saying earlier, with, um, like, uh, throw, squirt, lore, and sound, what I do, what I call those, I call those the core four. Uh, and by that, I mean, like, those are the four gags you generally use in the game. Um, you know, what you do, you sound, uh, you sound your way through everything if you can, you know, you throw, you squirt, you lure, whatever you can't. Um, shit, hold on. Got it. Yeah, so you throw, yeah, and, and if something goes wrong, if something goes wrong, you use maybe the other three, like, if you miss, if, if your gag misses, you tune up, if, uh, if you run out of throw and squirt, or sound, or you can't sound because the tune's soundless. Um, then you use drop or trap. Like I mean, otherwise you really don't use them because of you know they're just not as good. Like trap doesn't get knockback, drop you know obviously doesn't get knockback, low accuracy. So, like, yeah, yeah, like if drop drop and, were, Sorry, go ahead. I, I was just gonna say drop and trap are sort of just like luxury gags in a sense. Like they'll help get the job done quick, but they're not. You don't need them really. Like, you can't really use them that widely. And tune up, I just think that's something to cover your ass. Yeah, tune ups just for when gags miss or people can't play the game. But yeah, so so with me, if you have, ah, you fanned me, you oh, asshole. What? You asshole. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's all good. But um, if yeah, like if if you have high, I would focus on those four. If you have a high throw, squirt, sound, and lore, or like you know, on average they're high. Like say you have max three of them, and then you have like a level five. You know, lore maybe. Then okay, yeah, like you're you're doing well. I I'll take you for sure. Like, but I mean, when it comes to like drop and trap, like if you have max drop and trap, but your lore, sound, throw, and squirt are ass, I'm not gonna take you. So that's a fair point. Yeah, yeah like uh, yeah, I mean, I just I just focus on what's going to be helpful. Ah, fuck. What? <laughs> oh my god. At least we weren't going for anything good. But yeah, um, so yeah, basically, basically the point is like, if you're an Uber, and you're you have like three, I, I might take you with three tracks. I might not. Four, if you have good tracks and they're maxed, yeah, I might take you. And that's another thing, Ubers. You're not an Uber unless your gags are maxed, and yes. I will not take you unless all of your gags are maxed because otherwise you're just a low tune. You're not an Uber. But so then again, um, there is an exception. Like, if you're a four gag Uber, you have max throw, squirt, and sound, but level six lure. Like, I'll still take you. Yeah, I, I mean, mean that's that's it's close really, enough. Yeah. It's really just like a case by case. Like, if you see a tune who says they're an Uber, the thirty four laugh, and they have like level five throw, squirt, sound, lure. No, I'm not going to take them just because like you're an, you're in the process of becoming an Uber, but you're not an Uber yet. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, exactly. If you're going to be an Uber and you have low laugh, you're already putting yourself, you're weakening, if you're an Uber, you're weakening your tune. Um, 
because okay, you, the strongest you can be is high laugh, high gags. So if you're going to handicap yourself in terms of laugh, like the ability to survive, um, then you better have your gags maxed, um, or you're not you're not particularly useful, or I mean at least close to maxed. I mean that's the thing. Another like. I mean, not to go off topic, but like with soundless tunes, like, okay, if you're going to be soundless, that's kind of like a handicap because sound is so heavily relied on as far as like, especially in like mints and, you know, cog facilities to like get stuff done quickly. Like if you're going to do that, like be able to make up for it, like other ways, like have all your other gags maxed, have some SOS cards, you know, help everyone, help everyone out like that. It's just, you know, just do, play your part. That's, that's all I'm saying. Like, just don't don't try to get carried. Play your part, and I mean, no one will have a problem taking you. Yeah. Well, that's really all I have to say on it. I don't I don't have much else to say. No, just you know, have have good, have high gags, particularly focus on throw, squirt, sound, and lore. And um, you know, if those are high, um, regardless of what your laugh is, you know, I mean, obviously it's better if it's higher because you can survive. You know mistakes and you know random misses but i don't really look at laugh i just look at gags because gags are what defeat the cogs you could have a million laugh and if your gags are bad you're still going to lose so that's why i say tune up is for covering your ass because if you use good strategy then like laugh doesn't even matter just because like you'll kill the cogs either way and they won't even have to damage you because i mean in I don't see if everyone has good gags. I don't see a single fight where, unless it's like V2.0s or whatnot, where someone would like have someone would be able to take damage unless something missed. Yeah, barring misses, if if everyone had max gags, new new strategy, and gags didn't miss, you would not tune up. Will be the most useless gag. Because you would never need it. Tune up would not be used. They they might as well eliminate it in that case. Of course, we don't know. We all know that you know, not everyone in this community, and, and by that I mean like the majority in this community are not particularly uh, great at the game. You know, to put it lightly. Um, so yeah, I mean like, you know, you gotta you gotta deal with those type of people, and I mean also the gags. You know, they miss. It happens. That's it's part of the game. So yeah, I mean, tune up in that sense, you know, you you do need it. I mean, you don't need it because I mean, you also have like SOS cards, and eventually when TTR gets around to it, doodles. So it's not a necessity, but I mean, it's it's useful. It has its uses. I'm not going to say it's useless. I mean, it's it's definitely useful. So um, but yeah, but definitely, definitely throw like like I said before, throw squirt, sound and lore, the core four. Focus on those. Get my invite every time. Exactly. Just just train your gags, okay? Like That's the biggest thing. That's the biggest thing we're saying. Train those gags. Because at the end of the day, the VP is like it's not a tune task. I mean, okay, Storm Cell, but yeah, it, but it, there's no it doesn't progress your tune. Doing the VP does not progress your tune. There is no task that says defeat the VP. While you can complete tasks by defeating the VP, you can do that you can do those tasks other ways. The VP is something you do when you have the gags for it. When you can, you know, you can contribute to the battle a, a great deal. That's that's it's when you do the VP. It's called a boss for a reason. Yeah, it's not. You don't you don't fight bosses in games when you're weak. It's. I mean, yes, like it's the weakest. Yeah. Codes. Yeah. Exactly. It's. It's like you know. I mean, yes, the boss is weaker than the other ones, but I mean, you still do face high level cogs. It's not like. It's not like you could just go in there with level five gags, level four gags, and you know you're gonna breeze through it. You're not. It's not gonna happen. So yeah, just bear that in mind. Just like I said before, play your part. Play your yeah. part. Contribute. You know, and um, everyone will want you, or not everyone, but you know, the most tunes will be fine with you. So yeah, um, you have like anything that. else to say? <laughs> that's pretty much it for me. Yeah, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> All right. Well. Uh, I hope you guys heard what you wanted to hear from this and hope you got your answers. I hope you guys take the advice (laughs) and take the advice, please. That would be very, very nice. Make the game a better place. All that. Just train your gags. Yep. Train your gags, train your gags, train your gags. I'm going to 
say it so much that you're hearing in your sleep. Train your gags. Train your gags. <laughs> yep. All right. So well, anyway, this is Tommy, and I'll see you guys later. Doc Popcorn Burger out. Have a great one.